Hi, it is Aikam time again. So today I like to share with you a very critical subject, and that is a universal technological platform. It is with this platform we want to move forward. We do not want to rely on uh, legend, fairy tales, uh, myth, uh, those kind of stuff. We want to be scientific, getting result, and our result is uh, with quality and repeatable. Okay, now in this title, you see it is saying that from 1560 Taizhou to 2017 Silicon Valley, a universal technological platform. So, so what, what is this uh, 1560 Taizhou? Okay, 1560 Taizhou is the time where the Ming Dynasty General Qi Qi Guang fight the Japanese pirate because as we all know, General Qi Qi Guang reformed the Ming army to become very effective to uh, actually later defeat the Japanese uh, pirates. So uh, that is the time. Taizhou is the place where the uh, General Qi Qi Guang fought the Japanese pirate okay, in a very effective and efficient way. And Silicon Valley, today we know it is uh, the, uh, the, the top place of technology in our era, okay? So we want to look into what really happened, what is the core of uh, General Qi Qi Guang when he reformed the Ming uh, army uh, at this time, at the 1560 time, okay? And at that time, General Qi Qi Guang actually uh, have a record of uh, he defeat his, his troop, defeat or uh, it caused the Japanese pirate to have 1,000 casualty while General Qi Qi Guang only lost three of his men. That's how effective it is, okay? And uh, in today's uh, view, if General Qi Qi Guang is not highly technical and highly scientific, he will not be able to do that. Okay, uh, the uh, enemy have one thousand casualty. He only lost three men, and as we know, just before uh, General Qi Qi Guang was asked to uh, to or to uh, was ordered to handle this uh, Japanese pirate issue the Ming Dynasty army have a very difficult time to face the pirate. They can use thousands of army, but they still cannot get good result, okay, uh, versus uh, the Japanese pirate. So, the, from 1560 Taizhou to 2017 Silicon Valley simply mean we want to use today's language to actually tell what is going on, what is the key uh, of uh, General Qi Qi Guang at the 1560 time when he battled the Japanese uh, pirates with super high effective and efficiency and he reformed the Ming uh, army and with uh, General Qi Qi Guang's reform in the uh, Ming army actually uh, he also become a root or a father of the traditional Chinese martial art after him meaning that uh, post General Qi Qi Guang uh, era because uh, uh, Chinese martial art, uh, a lot of them is actually uh, using uh, General Qi Qi Guang's teaching of the 1560s. Okay? So, as we know, this is 1560s and this is today. 
and uh, we can uh, using today's language, today's scientific way, today's uh, technology to present what exactly is uh, uh, practice in the 1560 and that is the universal technological platform okay so that's not based on uh, fairly tale or uh, hearsay but uh, scientific stuff okay now first thing we need to understand one thing today there are many thing uh, many speculation on the Chinese history, Chinese martial art, and all kinds of stuff. And uh, we want to know what is exactly the Chinese teaching is about, okay, the real Chinese teaching. So, in more than 2,000 years ago, this is Sun Zhi. Okay? Sun Zhi saying that the army must not the army do not have a uh, 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 fixed momentum, okay? The army do not have a fixed momentum. The water do not have, uh, do not have fixed shape, okay? Those who can uh, keeping adaptively change the momentum and defeat the army is the superior uh, way okay and he always say that uh, uh, there is no uh, single method which is a uh, guarantee winning okay now so to, to sum it up is what he said is momentum is the name of the game and nothing is fixed that is more than 2,000 years ago uh, the saying of the uh, Sun Zhi, okay, and when people today we talk about water have no uh, fixed shape, it is uh, from this uh, from from this uh, Sun Zhi, this chapter, okay, and so we say that army do not have fixed momentum, water do not have fixed shape, so from here. Uh, we know that that's how the Chinese uh, since two thousand. Uh, years ago, more than 2,000 years ago uh, practice. Now, one issue today we often heard is that the saying of soft defeat heart. So, if you really look at this, the, the real true teaching of the Chinese, the so-called soft deceit, defeat heart is only one case of many cases. Okay? It is not true that soft always defeat heart. Because over here it says that I think it's fixed. Okay? And uh, the key is to be able to adapt to find a solution to defeat the enemy. So uh, one must not thinking, oh, soft will defeat heart. Okay, this is just a scenario and it's not necessarily true. Okay, and what is necessarily true is momentum is the name of the game and nothing is fixed. Now, when we come to 1560, 1560, 1560, General Chi Guang, based on the teaching of Sun Zhi, uh, implement into the martial arts or the uh, military art. And here, okay, to sum up, it said that fighting is a continuous exchange of momentum. Fighting is a continuous exchange of momentum. And over here, it always also said uh, it has to uh, uh, be holistic. Okay, so meaning that uh, the momentum, uh, when dealing with the momentum, one need to be holistic. So, over here, from this page, uh, since two, uh, more than 2,000 years ago to uh, about 500 years ago at 1960, 
they have a common uh, key point, a common core, and that is momentum. Okay, momentum. So the Chinese teaching is the core at momentum, and it is a continuous change of momentum. Okay, and uh, the rest and uh, is uh, is is secondary. So the uh, the momentum is the the, 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 the the key, the dominant, and uh, it never fix. Okay. Momentum is never fixed, so uh, whatever on the secondary, uh, it should never be fixed either. Okay, so that's why when we say soft defeat hard, that is just one case. Okay, it, it is never guaranteed that it is uh, will defeat the 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 enemy. Uh, so uh, do not take it like a. Uh, there's some common belief today saying that soft will defeat hard. Okay, it's not necessary. Even two thousand uh, more years ago, it's already said that way. Okay, and uh, General Chi Chi Guang obviously uh, implemented that uh, momentum is never never fixed. Nothing is fixed, and uh, fighting is a continuous exchange of momentum. So the momentum, momentum, is the universal technological platform okay the momentum is the university uh, universal technological platform now from general chi chi guang general chi chi guang said fighting is a continuous exchange of momentum and he also saying that fighting one in order to be able to fight, one need to be able uh, to have a holistic development in all aspects of fighting, all aspects of momentum. Okay, has to be holistic. Now, we know that uh, with General Chi Chi Guang, there are four types of momentum zones. Okay, to be holistic. And this is uh, in the 1700s. 16, uh, late 1600, 1700 type of uh, uh, a momentum play. And we see that there are four zones here, which is a long fist, short strike, and this is the takedown, and this is the ground fighting. Now, if you look at it carefully, today, this is in the long fist zone, zone 1 as we call it. This is actually the short strike, the zone 2. Okay, This is the takedown, zone 3. This is the ground fighting, zone 4. So for past 500 years, it is within this, uh, the, 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 this, uh, this zone. Okay, And so if uh, people want to learn how to fight, then they need to know all these four zones, according to General Chi Chi Guang. Only that way, one can uh, uh, guarantee one know what is what one is doing. Okay. Now, so the name of game is to play with zone and to play changing from zone to zone okay so what does it mean it means that in fighting since fighting is an exchange of momentum uh, one might fight in zone one one might fight in zone two zone three zone four and it's ex expectable that one will switch from say zone one to zone three zone three to zone four or zone one to zone three that is what it means by changing from zone to zone. Okay, when fighting that will happen. Remember, uh, as he said that uh, one need to keep adapt to the situations, to the uh, changing the momentum to defeat the, uh, the, the, the enemy. Okay, and of course this is the changing or switching from zone to zone, and also one need to be able to play within the zone. Okay, like uh, if it is a, uh, 
is played within the zone 1 or within the zone 2 or within the zone t, uh, 3. Uh, for example, one can start with zone 1 and suddenly get into the zone 2 and then play within zone 2 or one can get from zone 1 to zone 3 and then change right away to the zone 4 and play within zone 4. So one need to be able to play within the zone and be able to switch zone. That is the the the, the, the name of the game to play uh, to play, okay, to play the momentum games. Now at every zone, meaning different zone means different play, okay? Different condition, different mechanics, different techniques. So for example, this is the long face zone. It has its own conditions, its way of playing, its different uh, it is its own mechanic, different type of mechanics and its techniques. Because whatever in this zone one is not going to be able to use in zone four, for example. They are, they are different stuff. They have different conditions. They have a different mechanics, and uh, they have different. They need to have a different uh, techniques. Okay, so that has to be really uh, uh, clear, uh, because uh, one simply cannot use the mechanics in the zone one, uh, into zone two, for example, or zone one into uh, zone four, because they they are different zone. They need different condi uh, they need different uh, mechanics, different type of play, different type of techniques, and uh, different type of conditions. Uh, that's why they, it is uh, very adaptive. It is there's no such thing as a one uh, one size fit all. Okay, and uh, Wing Chun is uh, expertise in zone two, if you can see here. Okay. So this is what usually we say the uh, disengage and uh, uh, rush in. Re disengage and rush in. You see how close it is. And you, if you pay attention, you see that this leg is actually jamming his leg here while he's shooting at him, okay, at, at the opponent, okay. And... Uh, so uh, here, from here, we know that every zone has its own uh, uniqueness of, uh, of, of, of handling that particular zone. And uh, Wing Chun is uh, belong to the zone too. And this book, Beginning Wing Chun Queen, is to, uh, to present what happened in zone two. Okay, the mechanics and uh, the different conditions and different techniques, the basic of that. Uh, so this book is presenting that, okay? So we know that the universal technological platform is actually fighting is a continuous exchange of momentum, okay? And momentum is never fixed and momentum there are four momentum zones there, okay? And we know that one has to be able to switch zone and one should be able to uh, play within the zones, okay? So that is the uh, universal's uh, platform of fighting, disregard of you are in uh, 500 years ago or today in the east or in the west, as we see here, Momentum play is a universal technological platform for fighting, okay? And uh, that is what uh, we want to uh, really base on, and not other stuff. Now, momentum actually uh, can be explained scientifically in physics, okay? So if we look at this, as this is the Newtonian physics. Momentum is equal to mass multiplied by velocity. Momentum change is mass multiplied the change in velocity. And impulse is defined by momentum change or force uh, multiplied by time. Okay. So because we know this, this physics, okay, 
we know how things move when we play the momentum game. Okay, so for example, like this uh, so-called takedown. Over here, we can find out what is the weight of uh, this uh, the, this player, and what kinds of uh, uh, speed he's using to charge in for his takedown, and uh, we can calculate the momentum of it. The same with in this in the defense side, you know what is the weight of this person, what is the uh, uh, what is the momentum? Then we can calculate the. Uh, uh, momentum okay so we know this is the velocity and we can calculate the momentum now when they actually crush in and taking down okay we can predict with the with this equations with this equations that uh, it will end up to be a velocity of this almost two meter per second and then this is the momentum Okay, and this is the directions. So with this, in the physics, modern physics, we know about momentum. We can predict the uh, momentum, the velocity of the momentum. And we can predict the, the, the angle and then uh, how much momentum is there uh, after the, 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 uh, the confrontations based on whatever each individual is doing. Okay? Now, that is very important because if we know that, mean that we know how things move. Well, when you play in momentum games, meaning that you want to move your opponent or your opponent want to move you, okay, and we can find it. Uh, this is the, 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 the scientific reference instead of hearsay or mysterious stuff, okay. Now, Let's now apply to something which is uh, usually people take it as a very mysterious stuff. This is what uh, the, 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 in the push hand is called fudging. Okay. Issue force fudging. Okay. Fudging. Okay. Now if you look at that, it is just uh the same stuff with uh with, with with this one when we when we analyze it for for the uh for the uh takedown okay this is prior to the contact the momentum of uh individual player and then over here is at contact can you see that you know and uh, of course this is the same thing apply if we calculate it and then uh, this is after this, of course, one person get, uh, get, get pushed away. Now, so even this, what they call as a fudging or really mysterious, very advanced and so forth, is still within the, uh, the, the, the boundary of these equations. This is no different than uh, this to, uh, to, to, to predict, to calculate how this thing move that there, there is nothing mysterious there okay so that is the beauty of uh, using the momentum as the uh, the universal technological platform because when you use momentum scientifically we can know what is going on we can analyze and we can know what is going on within the momentum and because we know what is going on we can control it we can handle it we can predict it okay and and also uh, due to uh, it be able to do analysis on uh, on movement and uh, momentum we know that the west and the east the ancient the mysterious and the scientific they are actually no different okay the same scientific analysis true analytical tool can use to analyze the ancient disregard of how the uh, ancient uh, using mysterious term or uh, 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 any kinds of myth kind of stuff okay and uh, with this meaning that we can have a good uh, scientific training and uh, we can have a, a predictable result 
and then uh, we can uh, achieve thing in a repeat uh, instead of uh, based on uh, guessing or speculation we really clear okay uh, as uh, in here that uh, you can see that the same momentum equation using to predict the takedown can be using the, the uh, predict the, the push hand the, the farging and so forth so actually uh, like for here, fudging, fudging can be anything, people sometimes are, uh, translate in different way. However, over here, when you use the uh, momentum as the universal platform, well, momentum is just momentum, okay? Now, with this, we want to uh, examine one thing. In the ancient uh, internal art classic, it said that a force of four ounces deflect a thousand pounds. We know that the technique is not accomplished with strength. And he said that the spectacles of an old person defeat a group of young people. How can it be due to swiftness? Well, this is, we know today that even though many people believe in this, however, under the law of physics which is all based on velocity velocity and uh, time this is invalid in the real life okay and also that for example over here you see this is velocity this is velocity now even though this guy is have a higher body mass but because his velocity is lower he get pushed up over here you see that so it is never the case of the spectacle of an old person defeating a group of young people how can it be due to swiftness this meaning that you don't have to fast you don't have to have a strength and uh you can defeat uh well uh you can defeat the the, the, the opponent well that that doesn't happen in the real life okay because uh our real life is government uh, governed by the, the the physical reality and this is the physical reality and also this so-called farging internal stuff have no mysterious when it is analyzed with the uh, Newton's uh, or Newtonian physics. Okay, so uh, it is very important because uh, of this Newtonian physics, we know how things move. Now, playing with momentum to move something is one important uh, play within the momentum play now another play is how deep is the penetrations for example this throw a knee kicks or Bruce Lee throw is an inch power that the, uh, the, the, the inch power or knee kick both are actually impulse impulse okay and both come with force and the different uh, or the variations of force is actually based on time meaning that the magnitude of force depend on the time of collusion last so what is mean is that if you look at that the change of momentum the momentum change momentum change okay is actually called impulse okay and impulse this impulse uh, actually is uh, 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 generate via the momentum change okay and uh, momentum change is actually uh, mass multiplied by the change of velocity so it is like a uh, something is uh, changing its velocity something moving is changing its velocity uh, that create an impulse and uh, if this object get into collision, get into collisions, okay, 
then the magnitude of the force of the collisions is depend on the time of the collision. So another word is that if this collisions uh, from uh, Bruce Lee's uh, fist to the board, if this collision have a very short uh, time or the, 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 the collision, uh, the time of collision, it lasts only really, really short. You have only really short collision time and then the entire thing uh, is done. That means uh, it have high force. Okay, it's going to penetrate really deeply. Because uh, over here you see that when the time is really small, then the force is increasing. The magnitude of the force is increasing. And uh, on the other side, if the time is uh, the, the, the time of collusion last is longer, then uh, the force is lower. Uh, this you can explain like uh, if you wear a glove, then uh, the collusion time is last longer because uh, your glove might have uh, some uh, sponge between uh, your, your, your fist and the, uh, the target. And that actually delay the collusion uh, the, the collusion time and they make the impact uh, the force magnitude lower that's why uh, we uh, actually wear a guard uh, when we sparring the guard is protect us from having a very short collusion uh, time okay so that way that uh, it will not have a really sharp force which is uh, penetrate and, uh, and injure us. Okay? So that's how you play uh, or you can analyze the penetrations. Uh, the key is just you need to generate an impulse via uh, mass multiply the change in velocity. You need to generate that. And then you control the time. That way you can control how much force you generate. Uh, if uh, you have a certain uh, force, uh, which is uh, you know that you want to generate, then you can just simply control the time. And uh, every uh, physical uh, object has a limitation. So as soon as you control your time uh, uh, to be small enough, then that force can break through the limit and penetrate, okay? So uh, that is how uh, the penetrations of the force or the strike of the impact can be predicted and analyzed with this, again, the same three equations, okay? Now, just now we talk about uh, how to move thing and we have these equations from physics and here how deep the penetration using the same sets of uh, uh, equations and uh, however we need also to, uh, to, 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 to solve the problem of so uh, it is nice okay we know this but then who generate the force okay who generate the force to make this entire thing working well so we look at the thing is that human, how do human generate force? Okay, so uh, as we know that there are two major elements. First is the muscular force. Second is the gravitational force. Okay, and uh, human actually combine both the muscle force and gravitational force to generate the force to support the momentum. Okay, so as here it said that gravity, uh, gravitational force, muscle, that, that's how human uh, generate the force to support the desired momentum one, uh, one to achieve or, 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 or create. Okay, so this, this is uh, how it is. Now, so... Uh, once one be able to uh, generate the force, one know how to generate the force, uh, human actually using mechanics to get better result or to amplify their force, okay? 
So again here, the same three equations. And with the body or, or the seven balls is well developed and uh, be able to play with action and reaction force. And uh, one can use this type of mechanics like a lever mechanics or a tour mechanics to actually play with uh, the force. Okay, uh, like for example, on this one, uh, the closer this to this uh this this load the father is the uh from from the uh fulcrum point to the person is it, the person only need to use a, a little force to move this big load okay so those are type of the mechanics and uh as we know that uh, human mechanics can be mapped into this okay if you see that this system okay this system Human mechan uh, human body can be uh, mapped into this, and it can map into this. You see this load. This is the fulcrum point, and then this is the the effort point. The same thing, right? Uh, you have the you have here. If you look at this, okay. This is the load. This is the effort point. This is the fulcrum. So, uh, human is using mechanics. To amplify or to improve, uh, or to make better use of the strength, or make the strength more effective or efficient. Okay, so again, that is using for supporting the implementations of momentum. Okay, so what we know from here is that uh, the the universal platform of fighting, the universal technological platform of fighting actually is uh, momentum. Okay, it's a momentum. And fighting is a continuous exchange of momentum. Momentum never fixed. Okay, and uh, momentum have uh, these four zones. And each zone have its own way to play, its own techniques. And... Uh, uh, one have to be able to play uh, uh, switching from zone to zone and also play within the zones with the different mechanics, different techniques. Okay, So here we have to be very careful. Techniques is actually only one of the components where the bottom line is the momentum. And even momentum, it never be fixed. Okay, As you said that, Nothing is fixed. Momentum is the name of the game and nothing is fixed. So uh, one cannot expect to, uh, to, uh, to, to, one cannot expect that a certain technique is invincible. Okay, that just simply cannot happen. Okay, and also the mechanic changes like uh, from the uh, zone 1 to zone 2. Okay, it's, it's different. Okay, now. Now. And then we know that uh, we can predict the uh, the move within the momentum play with this sets of uh, physics, Newtonian physics. We can predict the, uh, the, the the penetrations of our impact or collisions. Same thing with this uh, with these equations, and we know that by control the time of the impact or collisions. Uh, we can control how deep is the penetrations, and also that uh, in order uh, to 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 generate this 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 uh, momentum change or impulse, then is it is the the mass multiplied by the change of velocity, okay, and uh, due to that we need uh, to know how human generate the force to support the momentum play okay and that's how it is based on muscle and uh, gravitational force okay this and then uh, one can make this amplify whatever one generate okay to be more effective and efficient and uh, best use using the uh, mechanics okay
and that's how it is now so so the reality is just that okay the reality in this world is uh, in this physical is just that uh, the universal technological platform is the momentum and momentum never fixed it have its four zone which is one need to be able to learn how to play and uh, the techniques and so forth it can be predicted with the physics okay scientifically depend on what you want to do and uh, we know how a human generate force to support the momentum play and we know that there are different mechanics which is can help us to play the momentum play better okay so as usually people say oh there's chi rotation of dantian all kinds of stuff well if you look at uh, in the forum or in the YouTube, 10 people, you can have 10 explanations. Okay, and uh, does it work? That's very questionable. However, over here is based on physics. Okay. This is based on uh, biomechanics. And uh, over here, this is based on physics. When people say, well, I have internal power. I can penetrate hard. Like a Bruce Lee have internal power. Well, you know, just use this equation. You can solve it. Uh, same thing here. Fudging. Like this is a fudging, some kind of mysterious chi and everything. You don't need to. You just use this equation to solve it. Okay. And we also know that... Uh, Whenever people say, oh, one can do uh, the, 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 the fighting uh, without using speed, uh, those kind of things, it doesn't happen in the real world because uh, the real world is governed by this Newtonian law, okay? Newtonian law of physics. Now, finally, we want to uh, actually look at the Chinese martial really uh, really uh, in, in details in a scientific way. Okay, so the uniqueness of traditional Chinese martial art is actually physiology development. So what it means, if you have a physiological development, it means that you can effective and efficient use of human body and mind. Okay, so meaning that uh, instead of using just a brute muscle and so forth, uh, one have a physiological development, okay? And uh, one can make use of one's body and mind uh, more effective and efficient, okay? However, all of this are still subject to uh, biological uh, limitations, okay? Uh, there's no such thing as you have chi or any kind of magic and instantaneously uh, change you because biological is biological. Uh, the biological grow and uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you have to follow the the, the, the law of uh, of uh, biology, okay? And uh, like this uh, physiology uh, development uh, in in Chinese martial arts. Uh, or healing art, you always have this 2C state where you have a very uh, deep, uh, high volume of breathing and the whole body integrate together uh, in a static way or, or static uh, state. And then you have this 3B, which is the deep breathing, such as the 3C, but right now, uh, sorry, such as the 2B, but right now this is a fully dynamic. So this is the body integrate together and synchronize with the uh, deep breathing. That is the three B. So uh, in Chinese martial art, the B, the uniqueness of it is uh, one developed this uh, this type of physiology uh, development. You have this kind of physiology development, and he de developed this. Okay, uh, instead of just using brute uh, forcing the muscle and so forth. Okay. So that is the uniqueness of traditional martial arts. Now, the 613.3, okay, so the, the, the element 1 to 4, element 1 to 4, physical element, mind element, breathing element, and energy element, these are actually physiological handling for physiological development to make one be able to use one's body more efficient and more effective. Now, 
the element four, uh, five and six, they are momentum handling. So the uh, element five and six, which is a strength, uh, strength element and momentum element, that is for momentum handling. Okay, so what we top in front here, okay, all this, there's a handling momentum. How, uh, how like for example here, handling momentum, how thing how is thing move and then how is how deep is the penetrations, there's handling momentum and uh over here the four momentum zone handling there's handling momentum and uh this is handling the uh, generations of the force or strength which is the fifth element and this is also belong to the fifth elements okay so 6133 actually uh, have uh, this physiological development part and the, uh, the, the, the the momentum handling okay so it consists of the physiological handling part and the momentum handling part okay so when we talk about Wing Chun Kung Fu, that is actually developing the 613. Okay. So uh, that is the full of the things. Uh, it, it, this so-called internal and external, uh, it just again is uh, different people will tell you different thing. Okay, which is, which is uh, we want to just discard it. Okay, but using this. Because it's clearly tell us what it is, and then also the uh, talking about the Wu Dang versus Shaolin. Well, there's also uh, a, a, a lot of interpretations and a uh, gray area. And uh, what we know is for sure is General Chi Chi Kuang, okay, General Chi Chi Kuang, General Chi Chi Kuang's work, <coughs> and. And actually, today, if you look at uh, the Shaolin, the, it evolved. The Shaolin art is evolved based on uh, General Chi Chi Guang's uh, uh, teaching. And you look at Tai Chi, for example, the oldest Tai Chi Quan is the Chen Tai Chi. It is also uh, influenced by General Chi Chi Guang. Okay, so is it really a, a internal art, external art? We need to drop that, uh, but get into General Chi Chi Guang. Okay, and also one thing what to be mentioned here is that this uh, f uh, biological limitation in physiological development. We need to drop those things of uh, like uh, I have uh, the the chi sensations of the body can develop these heat sensations or instantaneous uh, energy those kind of stuff because those kind of stuff. One need to ask. Uh, is that fit to the biological law? Okay, like I uh, can uh, one guy right away grow from uh, a baby to adult. Okay, there's a limitation there. Or can one guy can uh, like uh, we we do not need to age. We always stay uh, like a uh, two year old or twenty year old uh, without aging. Okay. And uh, so, so, so all those uh, so-called chi sensation, instantaneous energy. Well, let's drop that. Okay, let's get into the scientific, based on scientific. Okay, and uh, also, uh, for example, this six uh, called the sing chi to dan tian, rotating dan tian. Those stuff, uh, we better get rid of it. Just, just go with the uh, the scientific. Okay, so. This is what I'd like to share with you today. And uh, so the universal technological platform has to be momentum. And it has to be based on science, physics, as uh, what I just present to you. And when it comes to Chinese martial art, disregard of what it is just that. Physiological handling momentum handling and Chinese uh, martial art uniqueness is a physiologically uh, physiological development okay and uh, this will show you this and uh, so 
that's all. It's simple and uh, scientific, okay, and uh, based on the facts of uh, General Qi Qi Guang, not legend, not any kinds of uh, uh, different kinds of uh, myth or something. So this is to share with you today. Hopefully here on we use this uh, universal technology platform and no longer all those Qi, uh, rotating Dan Tian, and all kind of stuff, okay, which is uh, uh, very far away from momentum play, which is the Chinese belief, uh, the Chinese uh, uh, descriptions of fighting is the, uh, the, the, the play of momentum. And as we can see today, fighting is the, in the West, in the East, uh, a thousand years ago, a thousand years later, it is an exchange of momentum. So that is the platform, okay? So this is for you today.